welcome to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today we're going to make a bracelet with many strands and what makes this possible and fairly easy is this slide clasp with seven holes. So what got me started in wanting to make this bracelet was this clasp. This is called a slide clasp because the two parts slide together and then you have your finished bracelet and there are loops on either side. This one has seven, so you can accommodate seven or more strands of whatever you like. I'm actually going to use all seven. You could use only some of them, especially if you had wider beads. But what I've done is gone ahead and strung seven strands of beads, and I'm also going to use a couple lengths of chain. And what you'll need for your stringing is bead stringing wire, not the wrapping wire, but this is a a uh, coated stainless wire that isn't meant to be seen. It's meant to hold your beads in strings. And to finish those you'll need crimps. And if you want to make your ends look nice you'll need crimp covers. And wire protectors are nice too. For tools you'll need wire cutters, chain nose pliers, and crimping pliers. So the first strand of beads I'm going to place on my bracelet is my center strand and I'm just going to slide on a crimp and then slide that wire through one of the holes of a wire protector and I'm going to pop that wire protector right over the center hole of my bracelet then I'm going to slide the wire back down through the other hole and back through the crimp slide that crimp up till it's touching and then just back it up a little because you do need a little bit of, bit of space for your crimp cover. And then I'm just going to grab that crimp with my chain nose pliers and give it a squeeze. And then give that a tug and make sure that that is secure. And I'm going to use one of these crimp covers. And I found, actually I don't use crimping pliers to fasten crimps, but what I like to do is use them to hold onto my crimp covers because they're round and they tend to move about. So I'm just going to slide my crimp cover right over that squashed crimp and then use the crimping pliers to close it. So now it just looks like a bead. And then use wire cutters to trim the excess wire. So there's one end attached and now I'll attach to the other piece of the clasp. And the center one is easy but once you start doing the others make sure you have your clasp oriented in the right direction so you don't twist your strands but get them all in order. So here you can see I've added all seven strands to the bracelet. Nothing complicated here, just a lot of repetition. And then for the last step I'm going to add a length of chain. I thought it would tie it all in together. And just use jump rings or some of these links are large enough that you can use those and a pair of chain nose pliers and just pop that on and then use another pair to close up that link and repeat for all of the strands. Now one thing to keep in mind when ma making a bracelet of this style is that it's much wider than other bracelets and since our wrists, most of our wrists get thicker the further up our arm they go, you know, and here I could, my fingers could touch and here they can't you're going to have to make your bracelet a little bit longer than usual. I made this one about three quarters of an inch longer. Uh, so I made it eight inches rather than my usual seven and a quarter. So keep that in mind as you're adding all your strands. Don't let any one get too short. And then just use jump rings to add your chain to your ends or wherever else you like and you're all done. So here's another look at the bracelet we made today. It takes a little bit of time to do all the stringing and attaching, but it's well worth it. This is quite a statement piece. Consider using a color scheme that you love. I actually found a pin on a Pinterest board, Color Inspirations, that got me started here. So thank you so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. If you like this video, please be sure to click like and hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Also check out my blog keepsakecrafts.net where I have lots more jewelry making, crafting and sewing ideas and inspiration. Happy creating! Bye bye! Mm -hmm.